Yep. <clears throat> What's cracking, constituents of Lush Worlds? I've been curating different elements and aspects of hip hop culture for decades now, but this might be the project that I'm the most excited about ever. And we're going to show you ways how we're going to bring it all together to be a full on multimedia experience combining different elements and mediums from visual to video to everything in between to live installations and all that here it is about to unveil bang bang presents souls and halos you feel me my longtime collaborator and dear friend bang bang aka germ free bob ross you know <laughs> yeah and, and let's present an association with another incredible artist, Steve, Stephen Monson, a.k.a. Chonchis96. Sheesh! Boy, Chonchis. What's happening, yo? Going crazy going with on? it. He's helping not only add to the aesthetic of the... The initial thing, it started out as just paintings and drawings, and he's adding to the digital element of it and bringing these to life in multiple capacities, as you can see. Wow. That's how it goes right there. Now, you might notice some familiar imagery when you look at this art, and that's because the whole concept of Souls and Halos are commemorating and immortalizing our dead legends who are gone but never forgotten from hip hop culture, some of the greatest rappers and artists of our era and beyond, expanding generations. And uh, if you look at it, they have a very unique aesthetic, kind of a cartoonish, childlike, cherubic aesthetic, which not only is a metaphor for them, basically like the innocence required to gain entry to heaven. But in addition to that, showing that you know there's, there's a childlike innocence in everybody, including those who have been misunderstood, vilified, and passed way before their time. As you're looking right now, there's Biggie and Tupac together. You see the subtle elements right there that you have to be a real hip hop head to even catch, like Biggie with the cheese eggs and uh, Welch's grapes. You know, mm -hmm. like you have to, you have to re re really up on game to even get that. Every there's going to be lyrics attached to each piece, as well as a digital image, and as well as on Lush World a mini documentary commemorating some of my and our favorite artists so far. We got MF Doom, Tupac, Biggie, Draco the Ruler, Big L. You see over there, currently in pro in progress. You got Big L. Mac Dre, Aaliyah, Money Sign Suede, up next is Pimp C. There's, you know, I don't, I don't want to even say too much, but there's a lot of dope immortal legends that are going to be brought to life for this. And, um, but Germ, I really, the original concept that you came with is like so unique. You know, um, yeah, my mom used to tell me, some of that music you're listening to out there in the secular world, it only leads to death and destruction. And she says, those people never make it into heaven. So growing up, when I listened to that music, I said, you know, there's a place for people like that in heaven. So I want to make the Book of the Dead uh, to commemorate those that did fall due to losses that do happen in occurrence with the music that we so love. And on top of that, I wanted to show, you know, the lesson in all of that, kind of the Aesop's fable in it all. And uh, part of it is using the one-liners, you know, from their songs, which is almost prophetic and almost showing of how they felt, but they kind of always know. And sometimes I think as artists, we, we kind of speak into our own demise or we speak, you know, the, the telltale signs that one day become our headstone covers. So with that in mind, here's the collection. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, get to see, you know, what a collaboration can do and maybe... As we fuse this idea together, you guys can participate in it. Reach out, let us know what you guys think. Well, um, in addition to that, mm -hmm. you have the really interesting aesthetic that you've chosen, like to capture the childlike innocence, oh, yeah. juxtaposed with like the stark yeah. gangster imagery yeah, originally, from their iconic looks. Originally, uh, I was going to call this, you know, because it's Precious Moments remix, it was going to be called Few and Precious Moments, but then I figured, no, it's souls and halos because at the end of the day that's what you know we all like to be remembered on and that's what ends up in our obituary book so a lot of it's going to be purgatory the time lapse of heaven you know the soundcloud heaven the the structure the arc the thug mansion yeah thug mansion and leading up above to that above the clouds so, yeah so i wanted to Shots do um 
yeah, you know, pieces into this meta heaven that we can create so that everyone can share the experience as they ascend with this in the timeline of the loss. For know? those that don't know, what is Precious Moments? Precious Moments it was kind of like a hip cartoon that you would find printed on Bibles and stuff back in the, the 90s. Girls were collecting it just like Lisa Frank. And I wanted to take some of that, you know, aesthetic along with the dead, um, which you would find, like, you know, at someone's funeral. So I wanted to use the obituary book and also kind of use, like, a... The same, the same artwork you would find like on a t-shirt when you commemorate someone, you know, so it has a lot of that. It also has some of that Charles Schultz feel. I don't know if you kind of see that in there. Yeah, I kept that on the biggie seal, you know, but it's just kind of to cartoonize and keep that, that childlike faith, you know, that thing that's required for heaven entry. Now, um, the addition of Stephen really bringing this whole project to life, oh, digitizing the images. Oh, way more li vivid, like... Like, look, the, the exception was this, right? So this is supposed to be Draco the Ruler. And after Steven touched it, you can see what happens. Like, he, he gives it that extra oomph, that extra punch. So our... Anyone that's a fan of Draco will recognize that facial expression. You can't, like, even with the cartoonic, the, like, slant to it, you still see that's clearly Draco. He got his bottle of Mosley on him. He got the iconic Stink Team cat on him. And uh, it's funny, because actually, shout out... Um, Shout out the creator of that jacket. He actually, which we'll probably tag in this video. He actually came on Onto the comments, the post, yeah. yeah, and he was talking about, "Yo, like I recognize that jacket." Yeah. <laughs> it's so old. It's still like Stink Team was spelled with the K because they wound up changing it to a C. Yeah, like, like, that's right. That's that's an early iconic look. Now, with the addition of Stephen, obviously bringing it to new levels. How did you guys meet, and what was like the oh, man. the yeah, dynamic of, of yeah, y'all and friendship? I, honestly, it was just like a regular job. We worked at a production company, and you know, I was a forklift driver. She worked in the LED department, and, um, and she, she, everybody just saw her as like, a, oh, she's a crazy bag of cats, you know? This, this this chick is crazy. And then, but for me, I'm like, you know what? Everybody has a different perspective. Everybody's wearing a different pair of shoes. I'm like, you know what? Let me go, let me go help her out. Let me go see who she is. You know, maybe she's not as yeah, bad as people in think. <laughs> oh my god, it was crazy, but she got a lot of haters real quick, but once she saw that, I'm like, hey, I'm an artist too, you know, you think the same way, you have that, that fucking energy, cool, oh, check this out, I'm working on something, I'm like, oh, okay, let me see what you're working on, and she sold me the sketches to these, and I'm like, these are, these are wild, let me, let me take a crack at these, and she's like, oh, you're an artist, yeah, yeah go for it, at first, she wasn't like, oh, okay, maybe he's for real, maybe he's not, but... And then I started sharing my artwork with her, and then she's like, no, I need you, I need you here, I need you on this project. So then it turned from a work thing to a business thing real quick, and soon enough, now we share the same passion, and now we're just I'm yeah. turning these, what, angels and into, like, real figures. We're turning them into, like, real... Items now, it's crazy. It's yeah, just, it's just a simple idea. And yeah, we now. wanted to tap in with the families too, you know, have an extension just to not. Which we've already been doing. Yes. We've already, like, yeah. multiple of these of these um, legends, we've already tapped in with their people. Obviously, you know, we're going to tap in with Sean Price's people, Mac Dre's people, do we like. We have direct lines on everybody involved and will be the, a portion of the proceeds will be going to yeah, whatever foundation is affiliated with these artists we're not here to exploit we're not here to get over or you know profit off of their work what we're trying to do is commemorate their legend and legacy and keep it lit in multiple capacities for years to come and uh that was what really inspired me to get involved beyond german eye working together for so long and as, as closely as we are. But me being someone that's able to actually execute German's great at con conceiving ideas and coming up with amazing concepts. And sometimes her ideas are so big it's difficult to bring them to life. But that's what somebody like me is here for. And now in conjunction with Lush World, we've taken it global. We already have galleries interested in installations. We already have... I'm not going to say too much, but like I said, this is going to be something you could literally reach out and touch in different ways, and we're very excited and proud about what we've got going. Um, I don't know about Tupac and a blue rag. No, it's going to be white. I'm just highlighting it. it has to okay, be yeah. That's a color. Yeah, yeah. I already no. know the comment's going to go crazy. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not going to be blue at the end of the day. I'm sorry, everybody. Blue team. Blue team guy. Trust the process. Yeah, Trust yeah. The process. Just to clarify, Trust I had to point yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, in order for me to make it uh, glow in the dark, I have to lay certain layers down before the white. So. His rag would be red if there was a rag, or if not, you know, white. No, good no. neutral color. I, I'm trying to do white because that's, you know, the purity heaven. All that white color. is perfect. 
perfect. Yeah. The blue one, though, no. <laughs> let's get off. Let's get off. might be a little controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Crip Mac. Crip Mac approved. Just yeah. Yeah. That's a nifty color, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, already hard at work. My boy Chunk Cheese, Bang Bang, aka Germ Free, Lush Uno, the Dream Team, Brain for Life, of course, Trap Nina on the filming. He's going to be helping with the editing of the mini doc pieces that we're going to be doing. This is something that I've been talking about doing for a long time, the DJ Screw documentary. I've been wanting to do the Matt Dre documentary, the Big L documentary. Now we have a way to kind of bring it full circle and have it be something. Because like the way I really look at it is like this. There's a huge generation gap within hip-hop culture, and it's good to present our past as a culture in a way that's palatable, understandable, and desirable to the youth, you know what I mean? And at the same time, giving a stark warning, hey, we don't want to continue to live like this, we got to flip the script. Yeah, you know? that warning's the most important yeah. there's Other people that are going to be involved, there's Lisa Left Eye Lopez, uh, Character being drawn, there's a uh, Lil Peep, XXX Tentacion, Juice Worlds. Um, it's it's really endless. It's, there's there's so many sketches already being cultivated. I'm excited about it. I hope y'all are as well. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, run it up. And if there's any legends that you'd like to see immortalized, Who's let that? us know. Let, us, let know. us know who you want to see. If it's Gangster Boo, is Young Dolph, whoever. Let us know. Yeah, what did it mean to you? Let us know the one liner that we can put up there with it, okay? What's your favorite line in this song? You heard it here first, baby.